Hello my Raising Wellness Beauties and welcome to a new video just for you guys for January 2019. We are going to be diving into our bullet journals. I already posted up a 2019 spread for you guys so if you haven't I will link that below so you can go look at it. And this video is going to be our January 2019 spread. I'm really excited to show it to you guys and let you see what kind of theme I did. Maybe get some ideas for your own bullet journal. Maybe get inspired to start a bullet journal. I have this bullet journal and all of the tools that I've used, markers, pens, that kind of stuff, linked in the description down below so that you guys can get started. If you guys don't know, this is my first year bullet journaling. I explain more of why I started bullet journaling in the 2019 full spread, which I said I linked down below. So if you wanna go check that out, check that out before you watch this video if you haven't watched it yet. And I'm really excited to jump into the January 2019 spread with you guys so we can get our year started right. We can set goals for ourselves, we can get organized. I don't know about you guys, but when I created this, I was ready to start putting things into it, putting goals and plans and um, tasks and events into that because I'm a nerd for organization and I'm really excited to get January started with you guys and write down all the fun awesome videos that I want to create for you, meditations I want to create for you, things I want to do for the local community for meditation and mindfulness. I'm just so so excited to share this with you and to show you how I set myself up, how I organize myself so that I can be my best and so that you can be your best. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So fresh new pages and I am going to be creating a collage in the beginning of this month. I decided to go with a fireworks theme so I just printed out pictures of fireworks and then cut them into hearts in different shapes. And just putting some little lines in there to make it look like fireworks. And onto the next page, I use my calligraphy pen, which I'm practicing at, to write January down. It's still kind of messy, kind of all over the place, but you know, just practicing, getting started, bringing out that creative energy again, right? So then I just put some fireworks in here to blend in with this firework theme that we're gonna be having going through the entire January spread with you guys. And I decided to choose the colors light blue and gold for the fireworks throughout this entire spread. And like I said, I will link all of these markers and pens and tools down below so you guys can get started too. Alright, so moving on to the first page of this spread. This page is going to be my full calendar, and I'm not really sure why I decided to use the calligraphy pen for something this small, but I guess I thought it was a really awesome idea, so we're gonna go with it. And so here we are creating the calendar. So I've just decided to do floating boxes for every single day, the entire week for the entire month. So that is what I'm creating here with these floating boxes and just Starting this first page with you guys, I'm getting really excited about beginning this month. Fresh start, new year. I don't know about you, but 2019 feels like a really big year. It feels like an expansive year and a year of clarity. So I'm really excited to create this entire month spread right here. And on the corner of this page, I wrote SM, which is social media, because I want to be tracking how I'm doing with social media. So this is for my YouTube tracker, January 1st through January 31st, just to see the difference, and Instagram tracker, and then I also put in a Raising Wellness community tracker. So, pausing the video right here. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we do have a Raising Wellness community page on Facebook. So in that page, this is just a little teeny plug for you guys. Um, we talk about gratitude, we talk about mindfulness, we talk about meditation, we talk about organization for your life, you're really getting grounded in your life and what tools you want to use or maybe new tools that you've never heard of that you can use. That's the space, the Raising Wellness community on Facebook 
it's a group page, it's a space for you guys all on the Raising Wellness channel to come together and to talk to one another. Every time I see you guys subscribe on the YouTube page, I wish there was a way for me to message you. I still have not figured out if there is, I really don't think there is. So this Facebook page is a place for us to talk and to chat directly with one another and to really get to know one another. Whenever you're trying to change your life and and move into this new vibration that you're trying to manifest something or become something different with health or fitness or wellness or mindset, whatever it is, it's really important that you start to align yourself with other people of like mind. So that's what this page is all about, the Raising Wellness Community page. It is linked in the description below. So if you wanna become a part of it, just go click on that and then say you wanna be added as a member and I will for sure add you into that group. All right, so that was just the little plug for you guys just to know that we have that space. Let's jump back into the video. All right, so like I said, going with this whole theme, it's gonna be fireworks, explosions, newness, all this amazing energy that's coming into 2019. So I just jazzed up this page with some fireworks here. Little dots and little stars. And now I'm gonna go in and Put the numbers in for each day and I realized after I went in with this blue marker that I messed up and the first day of the new month of January 2019 is actually on a Tuesday. So what I did was I obviously went in and colored all these fireworks with my blue marker and then colored in the gold and then what I did next was take a little bit of white paint and I put it over the blue just so I could cover up because I had written the numbers on there. So as you can see, I went over it with white paint and it almost made it like a watercolor kind of thing and I put in all the days of the month. So, mistake one, that's how I fixed it. And then next, I'm gonna be doing this for every single month and this is my mindfulness tracker. So. I'm going to be tracking these things on here and I'll read them to you in a minute. So it's meditation every day, reading my affirmations, going outside slash working out, getting eight hours of sleep and 64 ounces of water are all things that are really important to my well-being first and foremost before I can go out and give out to the world. So I wanna make sure that I'm tracking those things and seeing how I'm doing. So what I did going along with this firework theme is I created little lines of a firework or little dots or little stars for every single day. And I'm going to color those in for every single day of the month. And at the end of the month, it's gonna be this beautiful, colorful firework to track my mindfulness, to track how I was caring for myself. So on the bottom there, you can see I wrote one, two, three, four, and then I wrote five. And there's five things that I'm tracking, which you saw at the top. And so if I do, just one of those things, I get the line gets covered in gold. If I do two, it gets covered in gray. If it, um, if I do three, I believe it's a blue, and so on and so forth. Just so I can track what I'm doing, and at the end of the month, I can see actually in front of me what I did, and I think that's really important. So on this next page, I did my expenses tracker, and this is. For me to see how much money is going out versus how much money is coming in because I do pay out a lot of things for raising wellness, um, for meditation spaces, for um, camera equipment, for trainings, for meditation, all that kind of good stuff. So I wrote in here description plus, which is money coming in, and minus, which is money going out, and then a total at the end of the month. And I just did it on one page because I'm trying to spend less money and bring in more money so I have more money to give to Raising Wellness and to other goals that are secret that me and my boyfriend have that I'm sure I'll be talking to you guys about later in the year. All right, my next page. So these are these two next pages are like brain dump idea pages. So the first one is my January goals. Keep it simple and stay focused because like I said in my 2019 entire spread for you guys, I tend to go super big and a lot of goals all at once that I don't stay focused in any one area. So that is a big theme for me this year is to stay focused, keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. 
So then I just add some fireworks onto that page to bring it into the theme. And the next page is my YouTube video brain dump page. And this is just ideas for meditations for you guys. I'm going to be doing new moon and full moon meditations, so I'm going to hash out ideas on here. Bullet journal ideas, self-care ideas, self-love ideas. If there's any videos you guys want to see from me, make sure to write it in the comments down below so that I can put it onto my brain dump page and hash it all out and get it up and made for you guys. So put that in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want to see. Then I just added some fireworks to that page and blend it in with the theme. And now we're on to the last two pages of this spread. And this is the first week. So the first through the 5th of January, and I just did these floating boxes again, like I did for the, the big calendar in the beginning. And you'll see here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are the two on the bottom there, that, that box that's split in half. And the reason I made these super large is because I put down a lot of to-do lists. I'm going to put down their personal things I have to do, birthdays, events, um, things I have to do for raising wellness, things I have to do for my other jobs. All of that kind of good stuff is going to go into these pages. So I made those days really big so that I can have room to write things down and check it off. I hate when I have like a really crammed looking to-do list. It's much better for me when it's spread out. It just feels more open, more free, and almost makes me feel like I have more time to get things done so that I'm not in that like rushing, crazy mindset all the time, which I know a lot of you guys might get into when you have so many things to do, but it's good to keep your mindset straight when you have a big to-do list. And that's what these big blocks are gonna help me do. So then I just went in and I made the numbers, like the little star bursts that I've been doing on the fireworks to blend it into the theme and colored them all gold. And that is the entire bullet journal spread for January 2019. I will be making weekly ones as the month goes on, but they're generally going to look like that one that I just made for you guys. So let's just go through and see what we have created here. Alright, so here's the unveiling, January 2019 with my collage in the front then the entire month spread so I can go in there and write down everything that's going to be happening. My mindfulness tracker to make sure I'm all set before I go out into the world and my expense tracker to make sure everything money-wise is all set. Then I have January and YouTube goals and then my first spread of the month. So that is the entire bullet journal, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it has inspired you to get organized and bring in that creative side along with your get shit done side. I know that a lot of us have issues either with being too creative or too analytical and too to-do listy. So this is a really good way to blend those two areas together so you can feel a little bit more balanced right brain, left brain kind of thing. Um, I don't have much more to say, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have ideas for videos you want me to create for you, or there's been videos in the past of mine that you really liked that you watched, put them down below so I know to make more of those things or so I know to focus on whatever the area is that you want, more meditation, more mindfulness, more self-love, self-care, what is it that you want to see? Recipes? What is it that you want to see? Make sure you write it in the comments down below. And like I said before, all of the things that I use, the bullet journal that I use, the markers, pens, all of that good stuff is in the description below. And I hope that you guys liked the video. Again, if you did, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when I create new videos. I believe the next video that's coming out is a new moon video. The first new moon of 2019 is going to be a meditation video and I hope you guys can pop in for that one. I'm sending you so much love, so much gratitude wherever you are in the world and I will see you guys next time.